What's up, what's up, what's up, Facebook? How y'all doing? It's your girl, Sophia the Lion. It's coming to you live. How's everyone feeling? Happy hump day. Today, we're going to be talking some numbers, okay? Today, we're going to be talking about what's happening to you if you don't fully understand interest, okay? If you've got a credit card, you want to make sure, grab a sheet of paper and a pen. If you know people who have credit cards, hit the share button because they're going to want to see you know, what's really happening to them, okay? Once again, guys, my name is Sophia Lightborn. Thank you so much for hopping on. I appreciate you guys for always, you know, showing your girls some love. And y'all know the routine, right? If this is one of your first times watching my video, drop a one in the comments. If you watch me every once in a while, drop a two. If you watch me every single time I go live, I need you to drop a three in the comments, okay? Also, let me know in the comments where you're logging on from. I like to see, you know, what country, what city is represented um, because it's all about building a network of like minds, right? If you're from one city and you see someone else on this live feed from your city as well, you know that we're all, you know, like-minded and it's all about building those networks and those alliances. But today, guys, we're talking about credit card debt, okay? We're talking about credit card debt. So before we really jump into it, make sure you take a second and grab a sheet of paper and a pen. Make sure you share this video, okay? If you've got a credit card, I want you to drop in the, in the comment how many credit cards you have, okay? You got one, you got two, you got five, you've got 10. You know, I know some people who have up to 20 credit cards. How many do you have? And which credit card is your favorite? Which one do you use the most, okay? And also let me know why. Why do you, why do you like that particular one? And, and what is it about it, okay? I can hear my, 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 my computer is going off. So that means some of you guys are leaving me comments. Let me go ahead and mute that. But today, guys, we're talking about credit card debt, okay? Um, this is gonna be really short and to the point, but I'm, I promise you it's gonna be some great information. You know, sometimes you may be something like me, I remember when I first got my first credit card, it was a pretty low limit. And I was making the payments on time, the minimum payment, right? But it felt like I could never pay the card off. I was like, why is it taking me so long to pay off a $500 credit card? It just didn't make sense. But this is what's happening to you. And this is what I want you guys to understand why you've got to attack any credit card that you have. Don't Keep balances if you can do your very best to pay them off as quickly as possible because it's killing you and I'm gonna prove it to you right now okay I'm gonna use an example that I think is pretty fair for most people okay let's just say you know you have a credit card right now a Visa MasterCard um, and let's say they give you a credit card limit of $5,000 okay so you've got a principal of $5,000 now, let's say they say to you, okay, we're going to give you $5,000, your minimum payment. And be real, y'all, who pays the minimum payment on their credit card every month like clockwork? <laughs> I know I did, right? I paid the minimum payment. My payment on my $500 card was only $25. So I was like, man, I got this. $25 is nothing, right? Who's guilty of paying the minimum payment? Here's this, in this scenario, we'll say that your credit card company says your minimum payment is 100 bucks. 100 bucks a month on your $5,000 limit. Now, to be able to have access to five grand and you pay, you know, 100 bucks a month, most people say, man, I can handle that. I can afford that. But here's something I want you guys to think about, okay? Here's a perspective of interest that you probably never really thought about. Interest is the penalty you pay for the right to own something in advance that you cannot really afford. I'll repeat that. Interest is the penalty you pay for the right to own something in advance that you can't really afford. See, the reason you probably swipe your credit card for that TV or for that Xbox or for that MacBook or for those shoes is because you probably just don't have the money in your checking account to cover it. So interest is the penalty that you pay for them to allow you to swipe that card even though you don't have the money in your bank account. So interest, guys, is not your friend. Okay? Keep that in mind. Interest is not your friend. Remember, the banks are in business to make money, not to be your friend. So you've got to get that mindset. Get that mindset in your, in your head, okay? So let's just say you've got all right credit. You know, you don't have a good credit score, but you don't have super poor. Let's say you got like about a 590, okay? You right under the 600, which is about three quarters of the country is under a 600 credit score. So... If you've got about a 580, 600 credit score, your interest rate on your credit card is going to be pretty high. It's probably going to be around, you know, let's say 
If you've got good credit, this can be super low. If you've got poor credit, when I first started my credit journey, my first credit card was 29.4%. It was ridiculous. So let's just say, you know, this interest rate on this card is 21%. Now, most people, if you're like me, you think simple interest instead of compound interest. When you hear 21%, you're saying, okay, if I've got a $5,000 credit card and they're charging me 21%, you know, 10% of 5,000 is 500, so 20, that's 1,000. So basically you think, I'm gonna be paying an extra $1,000 on this $5,000. Eh, wrong, dead wrong. Guys, that's where most people go. I'm gonna break down the numbers to you to show you what's happening to you with these credit cards. So it's not an annual or one-time interest rate, guys. It's a monthly interest rate. And if you look at the bottom of your credit card statement, you'll see this number broken down there. Um, Congress forced your banks to start disclosing this monthly interest rate because people were just going way under in debt because they didn't understand this number. So what, is your, what would your monthly interest rate be? Here's what you've got to do. You've got to take this 21%, right? You've got to divide it by 12 months, and that's going to give you an interest rate of 1.75% per month. So you're paying almost 2% interest per month on whatever balance you're carrying on that credit card. So 1.75, you may say, Sophie, that doesn't sound so big. Let me show you why it's a big deal. So if you're paying 1.75% interest on your credit card, okay, 1.75% is point, uh, 0 0.0175, okay, times your, five, your balance, which is 5,000. That means that every single month, you're paying $87.50 in interest. Yeah, y'all might wanna hit the share button right now, okay? Get someone you know that has a credit card. If it's your mom, if it's your dad, your, mom, your sister, your brother, your kids, get them on this video. Y'all, do you realize what I just showed you here? From your $100 payment that you're making minimum every single month, $87.50 of it is interest. Bank, it's going in the bank's pocket. So if $87.50 is going to interest, how much is actually going to your principal? <laughs> Watch this. If you're paying 100 bucks a month and $87.50 is going to the bank, only $12.50 is actually going to your principal. $12.50 of your $100 per month is going to is touching this $5,000. That's why it feels like it takes forever to get out of debt. That's why you feel like I'm paying this credit card every month and the balance is just not dropping because only $12.50 of it is actually applied to the principal. So let me make the numbers work for you guys. So in reality, right? In reality, if your balance is $5,000, Right? And you're only paying $12.50 per month. It's going to your principal. Guess how long it's going to take you to pay this credit card off? It's going to take you 400 months. 400 months. Yeah, 400 months. I can't even think about how long 400 months is. If one year is 12 months, think about how long 400 months is. Sounds like a death sentence to me. So what that means, guys, is 400 months divided by 12 months in a year, that's actually 33 years you'll be paying this credit card. You will be paying $100 a month for 33 years in order to pay this five grand off. Now, if that doesn't make you mad, I don't know what will. That's crazy, y'all. That's insane. Because remember, interest is the penalty you pay for the right to own something in advance that you can't afford. So I hope the things you're swiping your credit cards for are worth it. I hope the trips, the vacations, I hope it's worth it. I hope the shoes, the purses, ladies, I hope it's worth it because you're gonna be paying, if you're in this scenario, 100 bucks a month for 30 years. Now here's the craziest part, and this is what made me the most upset. Guess how much the bank makes off of you? Guess how much? If you are making an interest payment, if they're getting eighty-seven fifty every single month from you, and we just said that you're sentenced to pay this for four hundred months, guess how much that is? Someone do the math. Someone do.
do the math. Guys, the bank makes $35,000 off of you. That's why they don't mind giving you a card for $5,000 because they're going to make thirty-five grand on your money. It's going to take you 33 years to pay off this credit card if you're making the minimum payment. So guys, that's why if you, you know, you're trying to eliminate your credit card debt and you feel like you cannot do it, this is what's happening to you. You've got to attack your revolving debt immediately. So you've got to start putting more than the minimum on those credit cards. Okay. One of the things that helped my credit score go up 93 points in 90 days is I just took, looked at my credit card balance and I was like, you know what? I'm going to pay this off in two payments. So I took the $500 limit and I just paid two fifty one month and to pay two fifty the next month. It brought my credit to utilization ratio down and my score went through the roof. Now the bank ain't making no money on me. So anytime I swipe my card, I pay the balance in full by the end of that billing cycle. So I'm not paying no interest. See guys, there's nothing wrong with using your credit card. Just make sure you don't carry your balance because the banks are going to capitalize on you. Remember, all capitalism means, guys, is that you will be capitalized on until you understand the rules of the game. And most people never take a second and step back and understand what's happening to them. We just kind of go through the motions and go through the cycles. But these banks, guys, are getting rich on our backs. So we, it's about time we start to become financially empowered, start to, you know, read the fine print, start to work out the numbers so that we can't be taken advantage of. Okay, so I hope you guys got some value from this, man. If you did and you want more information, definitely inbox me. Get in contact with the person that shared this video with you because this is just the tip of the iceberg. There's so much that we don't know. And I always say, you don't know what you don't know. But when you do know, you do better, right? So it's your girl. Thank you so much for taking a few minutes and getting on here so we can talk about these credit cards. And remember, you don't have to be great to start, but you got to start in order to be great. So why not you? Why not right now? Talk to y'all in the next one. Peace.